before you paint your first car. Uh, first things first, you want to be in the right mindset. You want to have the right mindset. You don't want to dive into it tired. You don't want to dive into it thirsty. You don't want to dive into it hungry because you're going to start rushing it. You're going to get to getting carried away and you're going to start rushing it and not realize you're even rushing it. Uh, you want to take your time. You want to do 50-50 overlap. And um, you want to you wanna make sure it lays down flat and clean and nice. Uh, before you even paint the car, before you even load that gun up, I would tack it one good time. Wet the floor. I haven't wet my floor yet. Uh, we're not going to be painting at the very moment. It's so humid and warm in here that the floor is just going to dry up as soon as I start spraying. I'll do that at the last minute. Um, I'm more so focused on getting the paint on the car uh, for the sake of the customer, just to get them, you know, show them that the, the type of red that it's going. We're only going to do the base coat, though. We're not going to do no clear. We're not going to do no red, no red pearl, none of that right now. We're just focusing on painting the shell of the car red, and we'll do the parts. Once we do the parts, we'll slap it all together, and then we'll paint it, uh, hit it with the clear coat with the pearl as well. So, like I said, um, I would like to go ahead and do the brake calibers and the brake drums, but right now we're just focusing on the car. We will be spraying all in here uh, with the Rhino liner, with the bed liner uh, type. It's not it's, it's not exactly bed liner, but it is pretty much the same um, texture of it. Uh, we'll get that all cleaned up in black. We'll get the we'll get the shocks and suspension wiped down, and then we'll paint the cal uh, the uh, the drums. So that is all, you know unison I, I gotta have a unison man if i'm gonna paint something i'd rather do it right i don't even think that's something we talked about i just want to go ahead and do that because it's my name on the work so um right now we're just gonna be focusing on the shell of the car we'll mask we'll mask up we'll have to mask up the car whenever we do that yeah i'm kind of backtracking but right now we're just focusing on the shell um so yeah before you even paint your first car you want to also make sure you have everything you need you want to make sure that everything you need is already there. You don't want to have to run to the store. You want to make sure you got more than enough of whatever it is that you might need. We got cups. We got tape. We got our respirator. We got our gloves. We got our mixing sticks. We got our reducers. We got a couple gallons of reducer. We got the red. We got liners. Number one thing is having them liners, man, on deck. I used to burn through them. We got the clear. Um, we got our pearls. So we good. Um, I think we can get ready to go ahead and start setting everything up um so we can lay some lay some paint we're going with the one to one ratio we're gonna put our one of the paint the paint is first paint column first boom five and then we're gonna go all the way over to the next one which would be our reducer paint first reducer clear coat first then hardener primer first then hardener so go ahead and put our medium in here boom I'm gonna take it all the way up to the five in the next one column. So right about there. All right, man, let's load up. Let's get it.
fan about to fall out the window, my boy. Anyway, hey man, we are officially, no we not. Um, we got one more coat. I'm gonna go ahead and hit one more coat just to kind of guarantee it. We had some dark areas. We had some uh, some black primer that we had. I just want to make sure that it's completely covered up. So laid down the victory red. Um, and the thing came out pretty damn good, pretty smooth too. Body work on fleet. Body work straight. So um, like I said, we're gonna hit the brake calibers red, and then we'll uh, hit the. Uh, the wheel wheels we'll hit it with the liner and uh we'll make sure that it's you know pretty durable underneath there make it look good make it all unison and whatnot so man y'all hit that subscribe button 50 50 overlap three coats going on three coats um yeah eventually uh i think the i don't know what video i don't know we'll figure it out um we're gonna spray all the parts we'll hit everything red and then we'll um notify the driver like hey confirming that this is going black hey confirming that that's going black spoiler going black door handles mirrors is going black stuff like that um but man just the purpose of this video is just kind of giving you an idea on how to uh pretty much how to paint a car uh you know 50 50 overlap 50 50 overlap six to eight inches um you know distance wise and then do your thing pearls are a little bit different I don't know pearls are a lot different from you know your basic solid colors this is considered as a solid color because it doesn't have any pearls in it it don't have any metallics in it it don't have any glitter it don't have no flake nothing in it it's just a solid color meaning if i hit this side five coats and then i hit the other fender like 10 coats it's still gonna be the same red um it's still gonna be the same sheen after a while now, of course, if I hit this fender one time and hit that one three times over there, it'll be a little bit different. But it's just after a while, after a certain amount of coats, uh, it ain't going to get no richer than what it is. So um, take your time. Enjoy it. It's supposed to be fun. You don't want to get overwhelmed. If you run it, that means you're going too. That means you're up too close and you're going too slow. Pigment sags is like you're 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 slightly going too slow or you're too close dry shot dry shot it means just look ashy it looks a little dry that means you're too far back or going way too fast so take your time enjoy it and have fun um be be mindful of that ratio that four to one that I mean that one to one or two to one ratio uh take your time on that and um be mindful of the conditions of what you're spraying if it's cold outside you want to get fast reducer if it's hot outside you want to get slow reducer if it's okay if it's in the 70s degrees then you really want to just get that medium stick with that medium reducer that will make a difference if it's really cold and real cool and you spray nine times out of ten you're gonna have to adjust your the fluid of your gun you can't have it on open all the way uh, because you know we're not in a controlled environment you want to take your time and and do less fu less fluid because it'll actually try to separate it'll try to just lay down like too runny it'll just be too wet so um dial that gun in that fluid in you know have a little less fluid than what you would normally have it if it's on a cooler cold day um and just kind of i like to dry shoot my first co coat on pretty much all my cars, whether it's hot, cold, medium, whatever the temperature is, I still like to dry shoot it. My first, just to give it that bite, that dry bite. And then, uh, yeah, man, it'll guarantee it that I don't run it. And then I don't, you know, um, make any, I just want to see how it lay down. I want to make sure my pattern of my gun is straight. I ain't got no, no, uh, no clogs in it or nothing like that. So making sure that gun is clean, do some test patterns, hang something up, spray it, pull that trigger. Um, I like to turn my air up all the way, pull that trigger about five or six times, waste a little paint, making sure that that gun is cleaned out. Check your tips, open up your caps, aim it at the light, make sure you can see all the holes through. And then um, after that, man, just make sure your gun is clean. Uh, make sure you got your wet respirator, making sure that you got um tack rags and everything you need in order to get the job done um like i said you don't want to rush it man take your time on it so um if y'all got any questions or comments man feel free to drop it in the comment section we're gonna get up on out of here it's pretty late 
Um, yeah, and remember that when you base a card, typically you want to go ahead and just clear it. But in this situation, we got a lot of minor stuff to do before we clear it. So if you don't clear the card the same day you base it, you need to make sure that you lightly scuff it. You lightly hit it with some scotch bright real good. Take your time. Don't dig too, too, you know, don't go too crazy in it. Just lightly scuff it, but make sure you hit every square inch of that car and then clear it. So you might, you might have to do like a little, little drop coat, but most of the cases I've never had to. I just scotch bright it. Even if I base it four or five days later, base it. I mean, if you don't base it, um, you know, put that drop coat on there, um, lightly scotch bright it and just clear it. You'll be all right. All right, man, we're going to get up on out of here. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like, comment, and subscribe. We out.